Hi, and welcome to the Retirement Education Hour. I'm Megan Mozak, and it's a real pleasure to be here again with financial instructors Kurt Cassidy and Dr. Paul Mettler. They're both Retirement Education Foundation educators, and we're going to be telling you ways that you can get in front of Kirk, Paul, and other instructors as part of a deep dive into all things retirement planning. We'll tell you about the courses coming up here throughout the program. We have a great show lined up for you today. You know, Kirk and Paul, we've been talking about the coming tumultuous times in the market, right? And we've seen some of that. But people are really worried about a major market drawdown. And I know you have your eyes on this. What are some of the things you want to impart to our listeners today as they're trying to navigate these choppy waters? Well, I think the message is is they're going to hear regularly, right, is is don't dread the drawdown, right? The drawdown meaning the the market corrections, the market, the bear markets. Don't dread them, particularly for seniors and savers right now, because really what's happening now, the, the drawdown we're experiencing now, some of the side effects are going to work in, in retirees' advantages because of interest rates going up. It's giving us as retirement experts greater flexibility and really, frankly, making retirement planning easier for us going forward, given where we're at today. Now, I still want to be clear and we want to define what it takes once we have a drawdown. How long does it take to recover? And why this time for those people within five to 10 years of retirement or in retirement, why it's so different this time for you? Because we never know when we're going to have these drawdowns. We don't know when we're going to have recessions and major market events. We know that they're going to happen. We just don't know when they're going to happen. So knowing that Throughout your 30-year retirement, you're likely to experience three to seven major market events like we're living in right now. How do we defend in retirement against that? And, and there are plans. You just have to have some pivots put in place to be able to take income from different sources during these times of drawdowns, not disrupting the, those long-term dollars so that they can come back. Does that make sense, Paul? It does. It does. You know, I actually love this, this topic and I love it because it really gets to the heart of what leads to success or not success in retirement. You know, how do you manage the drawdown? And, and, and we're going to get into the details of this, but I think one of the things that we want to make sure we highlight is we're not saying be passive, right? We're not saying that you do nothing. We're going to get into what you should or shouldn't do, but the key is not dreading the drawdown. There are things you need to do to put in place but we want to make sure that we don't overreact. We want to make sure we do things in preparation. And I think this really gets to the heart of whether you're going to succeed or not succeed in retirement. That's why I love the show. And I think we have some great information that I think is going to be helpful for the listeners today. Well, I think it'll be shocking for listeners to hear how quickly the markets bounce back from drawdowns. But they're equally going to be surprised because I, I, likely they've heard some of these things before. It still doesn't help them manage, to manage their emotions during these moments. But most importantly, what's going to be different this time, like when they were younger, Paul, when they were still working and we had a recession or a major market event, they were fortunate enough to get a, collect a paycheck from somebody else. But once they retire, they still need their income. They still need their cash flow. So they have to pay themselves. They have to create their own paychecks. And Paul, you and I have been preaching this for years, right? We do not change our lifestyle or our income based upon short-term market events. So that's going to be a challenge for most retirees because the defense that the financial service industry is going to give you is just reduce your spending during times of market volatility. And what we teach in our classes is you don't need to change your lifestyle. You just need to know what accounts to pivot to and have accounts to pivot to during these market events and drawdowns. So this is why we're going to encourage you to register for one of our eight-hour courses that we're teaching at all the major universities, the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, Oakland University, and we're streaming them live from the university so you can do it from your home. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. You can register at retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. You know, Kirk, it's interesting as I was thinking about this topic, one thing that struck me, and this is in some ways a statement of the obvious, but every, every show, anytime we, you know, every time we talk about retirement planning, 
you know, financial planning for your future, there's always two components, right? There's always a, a financial component and there's a psychological component, right? And that is true for today's topic, right? When we talk about don't dread the drawdown, what do we need to do to prepare and deal with the drawdown? There are financial things we need to do, which we're going to talk about, but there's equally psychological slash emotional things that you have to do as well to be successful. Either one of them, if you miss it, you're going to have a problem. You need to address both. And we're going to spend a little time talking about both today. And again, it's why I think this show is important. Paul, the emotional component to this is so interesting because most of our listeners who haven't retired will not, will not be able to appreciate what we're saying and likely will, you know, sort of look a little cross-eyed at us, not, maybe not feeling like we're being fully transparent and preparing them properly. But I hope they're listening to us when, when I tell you that your relationship with money is going to change once you retire. I cannot tell stress it enough. It really is going to change and you're going to get vulnerable and all the strategies you've been utilizing to be successful, to accumulate your wealth. Well, they're going to fail you once you retire because your relationship with money changes the old discipline approach that you've been able to utilize to amass your wealth. By the way, during the easiest time in history for you to amass your wealth, the greatest 10 year bull run in history at the end of your career where compounding interest was hitting full stride, these strategies are going to fail you in retirement. It has nothing to do with what you invest in that's going to drive your performance. It's all about where and when you take your income and how do you set yourself up emotionally to manage the changes you're going to be confronted with. It's going to be market volatility while paying yourself a cha paycheck while cognitively things are changing and you're losing friends and family around you all at the same time and being told you're too old to do your jobs so you need to retire. There's a lot, a lot of psycholo uh, psychology that goes with this, Paul, and it's a big part of the eight-hour class. It's a huge part, not only how to build the plan and where the pivots are, but how do you manage your emotions during these different times of market challenges and life events. So sign up for one of our eight-hour courses. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. We're teaching them at all the major universities. It's eight hours of education, 200-page textbook. You can register at retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. Much more straight ahead with Kirk and Paul. You're listening to the Retirement Education Hour. Happy to be back with Kirk Cassidy and Dr. Paul Mettler. They're both financial instructors with the Retirement Education Foundation. Hi, everyone. I'm Megan Mozak. We're glad you've tuned in to the Retirement Education Hour. And we told you earlier in the program about the courses that are sponsored by the Retirement Education Foundation. Want to remind you how you can get registered right now. Simply go to the website, retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. Or you can call to register 800-240-8981. Keep in mind, there is no time like right now to get registered, especially considering everything that is going on right now in our markets, the geopolitical concerns we see, the short window of opportunity before tax rates go up. We want you to be well informed. So be sure to get registered today. Keep in mind, these courses are taught around our community at major Michigan universities, including the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, both the Novi and Troy campuses, or Oakland University. Again, the website, retirementplanningedu.org. Kirk and Paul, as we talk about drawdown concerns that I know people who are either close to retirement or newly retirement have, I do want to just maybe pause here for a short update where you can help us define what a drawdown is and what it is not. So, Megan, I think that's a, re I think it's a really good point because we get caught up in our lingo of our industry and sometimes people don't always follow. So when we refer to as a drawdown, we're referring from peak, from the market's peak to its valley, the lowest, right? So a great example would have been the COVID crash. When the market from February of 2020 through March of 2020 was from its all-time high, it fell down, it fell 34%. That is the drawdown. So when we refer to is the 
max drawdown. That's what we're talking about. And so as we get closer and closer to retirement or in retirement, the drawdown is a very large issue. If you are not planned properly and have things in your plan to be able to navigate during these times of drawdowns. And unfortunately, for most of our listeners, they've used conventional philosophies and they've been exposed. They got caught. They they, they, they use their 60-40 portfolios and their 60-40 portfolios are down 20% right now and still falling because bonds was not the pivot this time. Something we've been talking about on the radio for a very long time now is how bonds aren't going to be your pivot to be able to navigate these times of volatility. So I know we're, I'm dancing around a little bit, but I think, and I know Paul wanted to talk about this. Paul, can you give some examples of periods of time where we experience a pretty significant drawdown? Let's, let's say 25% or bigger loss, 25% or greater loss. And then I want to talk about how quickly the markets recover from those drawdowns. Well, Kirk, I, I mean, you know, the, the topic of today, don't dread the drawdown. I mean, the, the essence of, of the topic, why should we not dread it, is when you look historically at a drawdown, an average drawdown of 25% or more, meaning any period of time where the market dropped from peak to trough 25% or more, the following year, on average, it's rebounded 27%. So historically, you go back back to the you know, 1960s, you go back any time we had a, a drawdown of 25% or more, the following year on average rebounded 27%, right? With one exception. That's remarkable, right? That's remarkable, meaning if you wait a year, right, historically, the market has come back. And, and if I could say one interesting point about this is if you go back to COVID, right, we know you just said this, the market was down at 1.34%. The following year, it went up 62%. Now think about that. How many people actually got out of the market when the market went down 34%? Of course. Well, we know if you were, we, we know, Paul, if you, th those over 65 years old, 35% of people over the age of 65 panicked during COVID, the COVID crash, panicked, right? So so that's, that goes back to the, the psychology, the relationship with money, and all of you are going to say, that's not going to be me. Well, I'm sorry, 35% is a really large percentage of people to panic at the exact wrong time, which, by the way, happened to be the same thing happened during 2008 financial crisis. That time, it was even larger than 35% of people over 65. People, your relationship with money is going to change. Paul, can, can I go back really quickly? Because I think people hear you say that after a 25% drawdown, on average, the following year, the market re is back up 27%. Let's go through each one of them for I don't, the last five or 10 of these so people know that this isn't something we're making up. This is, this is the data. So in, in December of 96, so let's just go 1961 to 1962, the market was down 28%. The following year up 34%. From 1968 through 1970, the market was down 36%. The following year up 35%. From 1973 to 1974, well, here we go. The market was down 48% the following year, back up over by 1%. So we can go 1980, 1982 is down 27% the following year, over 61%. The, the, the one time, the one time it took a little longer was the financial crisis. October of 2007 through September of 2008, the market was down 57%. The following year, the market was still down 5%. Three years later, it was up 11%. 10 years later, it was up 209%. The average, the average after 10 years following a drawdown of 25% or more, the market is up 238%. 230, that's 10 years later. The problem is people, re, they, they think they can market time. They think they can market a stock pick. Sometimes people panic and then people forget when I'm in retirement, if I have a drawdown and then I take an additional four, five, six, seven, 
8% out to live on, right? Because you have the market drawdown and then you're pulling another 5, 6, 7% out to live on. You are compounding those losses and that's called sequence of return risk. That is the biggest mistake people can make. So when we come back, I want to talk about some of the things that you can do to pivot during times of drawdown so to not change your lifestyle. Look, there's so much complexity to a retirement plan. There's so many more levers. It requires an eight-hour educational course that are being taught at all the major universities. Please (laughs) invest eight hours into your retirement by attending one of these courses at one of the major universities here in Michigan. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. You can register at retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. And I'll be back with Kirk and Paul right after this. Have you registered yet for the courses we've been telling you about? Remember, these are courses that are sponsored by the Retirement Education Foundation. And of course, Kirk, Paul, myself, we want you to get registered so that you can be in the know with all things retirement, retirement planning, as you get set to leave the workforce. You want to make sure you have all the information at hand so that you can have a successful retirement. Remember, it does not happen by accident. It does take careful planning. So get registered today, and here's how you can do it. Website is retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu. Dot O-R-G. You can also call to get registered, 800-240-8981. Keep in mind, these are courses that are held at major Michigan universities, including the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, both the Novi and Troy campuses, or Oakland University. So call or go online to register today, retirementplanningedu.org. All right, Kirk and Paul, we've been talking about drawdown concerns, and people are concerned about what's going on with the market. I know you run into people who say, well, you know, Kirk and Paul, I think I might just sit it out right now. What do you think about timing the market? Well, it's the same thing as stock picking. Market timing and stock picking is, there is no debate anymore. I know the financial service industry would like you to believe otherwise, but the research is so overwhelming against the concept. It just doesn't, you turn on the TV right now, go watch CNBC, go watch Fox Business, go watch any of them. And I I bring on market experts, economists. I don't care who you bring on there right now. You are going to get very different opinions on whether you should be invested, whether you should be buying treasuries, whether you should be buying bonds, whether this is the time to go back into tech after it's down over 30%. Like everyone has a different opinion. You cannot get a consistent answer. That's not surprising because if you look at the data, if you look at the data, 40% of all mutual funds fail within 10 years. There has never been, Paul, one mutual fund manager, not one mutual fund manager in history that has been able to, for five consecutive years, stay in the top quartile, the top 25% in performance. Not one ever. Jim Cramer, one of the most famous investors on TV, has teams and teams and teams of people. I bet he has 50 different people doing research and chasing information. We call it boots on the ground, looking for the data, looking for the buys, looking for the opportunities. He's got all the CEOs and CFOs on speed dials. He's having dinner with them all the time. He has... There's no one more in the know than this guy, and he underperformed the S&P 500 by over 100% over the last 20 years. By over 100% over the last 20 years. You cannot market time. There's no way to stock pick and market time your way through the markets. That is not what's going to drive success. We're going to force you to stick around. We're going to give you some of the solutions and what's going to drive success, but it's not going to be market timing and stock picking, Paul. We, we've known this for years. Yeah, and I mean, it's just just to put you know some numbers t- to this, right? If if we go back from 1988 to 2019, and we look at the S and P and average annual total return, if you are fully invested every day, every day on an annualized return, 10.7 percent. If you simply miss 20 of the best days from 1988 to 2019, your annualized return goes from 10.7 to 6.7, right? If you miss the 50 best days, you went from 10.7 to 2.8, right? <laughs> That's the, the problem is 
while you're getting in, in, getting in and getting out, when you miss the best days, overall it kills you, right? It kills Paul, you. Paul, I want to recap what you just said. Just really simple. Over the last 40 years, the S&P 500 is performing at almost 11%. It's 10.7 to be exact. Over the last 40 years, if you miss just 50 of the best days, 50 of the best days, your average rate of return was 2.8%. Paul, do you know what the average retail investor's performance over the last 40 years has been? Ironically, about 3%. Right. <laughs> Why? Because they try to time and stock pick and get emotional, and they think they're really smart and they can... Look, you could have thrown a dart at the wall over the last 15 years and made money. I mean, it was not that hard. Let me say the last 10 years. It just wasn't. It was the best 10 decade in the history of the stock market. It was not that hard. You weren't good. You just, everyone, all of us, we were all lucky. No one has that ability. No one. I know that is the entire value proposition that the financial service industry sells to you is that they can invest your money better than they than you can. Well, no one can. It's really not complicated. You should have just if you invested a million dollars, Paul, in the S and P 500 20 years ago. If you put a million dollars in the S and P 500 and just left it alone in the S and P 500 for 20 years, today you'd have over five million, almost five and a half million dollars. That's all you had to do. Right. But Paul. He, Oh, but Paul, and I'll let you go here in a second. Yeah, go ahead. After, if you just missed 30 of the best days over the last 20 years, you'd have a negative return. 30 of the best days over the last 20 years, you'd have a negative return. Don't tell me you can stock pick in market time. They're lying to you. Yeah, you know, it, 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 these, these statistics are powerful when you think about it, right? I think while all of this is true, it, emotionally, it is very difficult. I don't care, I don't care how many numbers we throw at people, Kirk. Right. If you don't have your financial house in order before you retire, and we're going to talk about what you need to do to have your financial house in order. If you don't, the anxiety is so overwhelming. It is really hard, Kirk, for these people when they see the market go down 20, 30 percent to not panic and get out. Right. It is really difficult, even though we know statistically, financially, it's the wrong thing. It's really hard not to. We have to help people know what to do so they don't react emotionally. Well, Paul, we're seeing it right now in our classes. Like, so we've got waiting lists for a lot of our classes. Uh, in our classes, people are desperate, look, desperately looking for help. They're, they're scared. In, in, in some of our listeners, I know, look, the average person attending our class has over a million dollars of investable assets. Usually between one and 10 million is the typical, uh, a typical person attending our courses. And they tend to be pretty sophisticated investors. Don't pretend like you're not scared and you're uncertain. I'm telling you, you, you are. We're going to come back next segment because I want to know if you know how much money you can pull out and where you should pull money out of, the, uh, out of your investments in retirement or how long you need to work. You don't have those answers. You're scared because you know there was, it was, all you did was save and invest. But now is when the hard start part begins and where you're most vulnerable and cognitively things are changing. Attend one of our eight hour courses so you can be prepared and understand what it's going to take to have the best outcomes in retirement. It's an eight hour course taught at all the major universities. We're also streaming them online from the universities. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. Go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org or call 800-240-8981. And we'll return with Kirk and Paul right after this. And we're back with Kirk Cassidy and Dr. Paul Mettler, financial instructors with the Retirement Education Foundation. You can get registered for the foundation's deep dive courses into all things retirement planning by going to the website right now. Go to retirementplanningedu.org. And keep in mind, these courses do fill up quickly. They're especially popular right now with all the uncertainty that we're seeing and so many people wanting to know if they can retire. Are they prepared? If that's you, be sure to register right now. Go to retirementplanningedu.org or call 800 800- 240-8981. These courses are taught at major Michigan universities, including the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, Novi and Troy campuses, or Oakland University. So go to the website right now. Go to retirementplanningedu.org. 
As we talk about drawdown concerns with the markets, I do want to ask you about our emotions because when we have that roller coaster ride, Kirk and Paul, oh, let me tell you, a lot of people have a visceral reaction to that, and it's understandable, isn't it? Well, it is. And, you know, it's interesting. I know a lot of the listeners today are, are sometimes I think they get offended when we tell them that, that they're afraid or they're going to be fearful. They're going to be. If they're not already, and they probably should have some fear, but in just They've had so much success over the last 10 years saving and in, in, in growing their wealth. Maybe it hasn't hit them yet, but it will. It will. There's a tremendous amount of anxiety around retirement. And I said this coming into out of the last segment. I said, okay, so I want all of you, you need to be able to answer these questions. So when are you retiring? Do you have enough if you've not retired? Do you have enough now to give you what you want for the rest of your life? What will it take? I'm guessing many of you don't know what it'll take. Do you know what accounts you should be pulling your money from? I'm pretty sure you don't. And then do you know how you're going to behave once you are retired and we have these events? I, I could tell you, you don't know how you're going to be. I, here's what I'm going to tell you. I promise you, we know more about retirement than you do. So trust us when we tell you, you aren't prepared, you're going to be afraid, and you're going to feel vulnerable. And that's the sad part. Paul and I, we do these radio shows. Michael and I, so all the instructors, we do this radio show and teach these classes. In our biggest fear for most of our listeners, because we know who are listening to our shows and who are attending our courses, we know you guys have some resources. You've, you've saved some wealth. You're far above the average baby boomer. You need to understand the average baby boomer is only going to retire with $200,000 saved. You have resources, and our biggest fear for you is not outliving your money. For most people who are attending our classes, is you're going to way underspend what you otherwise could have spent, but your fear and anxiety and lack of a good retirement plan, one that you just can't get by, with the average advisor today, unfortunately, without that. You're going to underspend what you could otherwise spend and work longer than you need to. And it's all based upon fear. And you're going to rationalize it in all kinds of different ways. Oh, I want to leave a legacy for my kids. Oh, I got to work until Medicare kicks in at 65 because I can't afford my private insurance. These, oh, I can't retire until I hit $3 million. Why? I don't know why. I don't even know if that's what I need to give me what I want. But that was the targeted number. You come up with these things that... The underlying issue that you're unwilling to confront is fear, anxiety, and vulnerability. Paul, I, this is what we specialize in. It's what you went to school to study. You understand these people's behavior in retirement. Yeah, I mean, I mean, really, at the end of the day, you know, anxiety and fear, it's funny. A little bit of anxiety and fear is a good thing, right? It motivates to, us to do things. Too much anxiety and fear overwhelms us. And we make really bad decisions, right? And, and, you know, when we think about what are the variables that will impact how you will react to a drawdown, there are, there are three come to mind. And, and probably the most salient, the most important is how close you are to retirement, right? How close you are to actually needing the money. If you're 10 or 15 years away, you, you, you may not like the market going down 30%, but it's not going to bother you that much. If you're, you know, a year, two years, three years, five years from retirement, it is going to be much more difficult to manage all that anxiety and fear. And, and if you don't manage it, you're going to make bad decisions, right? And you're going to do all the things that we've talked about in the show, which in the long run is going to hurt you financially. So, uh, yes, I think anxiety and fear is, you know, too much of it overwhelms you. And, and, and it's, it's sort of, it's wired in us. It's very difficult to fight that anxiety and fear, especially if, you know, within one, two, three, five years, you're going to need this money. And that's where the course is so helpful because we go over all the things that you need to do to prepare yourself so you're not in that position. Yeah, it, we teach the levers, right? All the different levers that you need to have as part of a full comprehensive retirement plan, which is very different than what's driven you to success and accumulate the wealth you have. They're very different levers. And you're going to have you're going to have some things in your plan. that. So so before I go down that road, I, some of the things that I that we've witnessed consistently during times of drawdowns and fears. It's, here's some, go to cash, bad idea. Go half to cash, bad idea, <laughs> right? These, these reactions are bad. 
going and buying a variable annuity because it promises you a safety net for income. Bad idea. Buying anything without a comprehensive 30-year plan is a bad idea. It's like buying furniture for a house you haven't built yet. It's, it's likely not going to fit, and it's probably the wrong furniture, the wrong investment. Kirk, Kirk, Emotional. Can I, can I yeah, and, and by the way, doing nothing is also a bad idea, <laughs> which is another bad idea we see people do is they freeze. But go ahead, Paul. I'm sorry. I, I just I, two things I would recommend. So we're talking about what you shouldn't do. One of the things I, two things I would say, turn off the news. You know, I hate not to pick on CNN. Every station does breaking news. Turn off the news. Stop talking to all your friends and family who are panicking. These are not, you know, get away from that. Get information. Be, get knowledge. Be objective. Get away from all of the drama that's around you because it's really hard to fight that, Kirk. It's really hard not to react when everybody else around you is panicking. Well, follow the herd, right? So the herd right. says I should do this, 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 this. And the herd usually is led by someone or something that has an agenda to make money, unfortunately. Exactly, so, exactly. Sincerely, and, and there's no better time to pounce, no better opportunity, particularly for the financial service industry, is to use fear. Fear. We're going to have sustained inflation for a very long time, so don't spend down your principal ever so I can continue to bill your accounts really high because your accounts never go down. That serves me better than it serves you. Don't spend the money you've earned your whole life, right? A 10 and 8 hour class. We're going to walk you through what a 60 hour pl with a plan that took us 60 hours to build. Step by step, all the things you're going to need to have a successful retirement. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity to get this education. Register at re retirementplanningedu.org, retirementplanningedu.org. We'll be back. More Retirement Education Hour right after this. Glad you're with us for the Retirement Education Hour. Hi, everyone. Megan Mozak here with financial instructors Kurt Cassidy and Dr. Paul Mettler, both with the Retirement Education Foundation. We've been telling you about the foundation's courses. And of course, this is a charity designed to help you know more about retirement. As you hear Kirk and Paul talk about regularly, the financial services industry isn't exactly interested in making sure you're well-educated. So that's why we've got the Retirement Education Foundation. And the goal is to help you feel confident about this next stage of life. And that means having all of the planning opportunities before you so that you understand what it's going to take to plan for your specific ideal retirement. So here's how to attend. You have to get registered, and you can do that at the website, retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. You can also call to register, 800-240-8981. These are courses taught at major Michigan universities. They include the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, Novi or Troy Campus, or Oakland University. So go online. Get registered today before spots fill up. Retirementplanningedu.org. Kirk and Paul, as we talked about drawdown concerns and the fact that, listen, we're human. We're going to have some emotional responses to these drawdowns in the market. Is there a way to manage it, to get out in front of it before we make a bad decision? There is, there's, there is, and this what this is what makes as we approach retirement and when we're in retirement so different than the the accumulation phase of our life when we're just the two things we have to do is save and invest the dollars and to be fair three things and be disciplined and don't panic right so but that piece becomes very difficult as we approach retirement because. Now we're going to become more and more vulnerable and dependent on those dollars to survive as long as we survive. There's no one else going to be paying us a paycheck. So it has to start by understanding. And, you know, Megan, you said this. We are a charitable program. This is where it is only sole focus is to provide education, advanced education about retirement planning. It's like a master's level course in retirement planning. And so it starts by understanding. Do I have what I need to give me what I want in retirement? That is a critical question to determine what your next steps across the board in terms of risk, what you should invest in, how you should build your plan, how many years you're going to need to work. It all comes down to understanding whether you have what you need to give you what you want throughout retirement. 
And to quote Warren Buffett, and I quote him a lot, you have to be insane to risk what you have for something you don't need. (laughs) So again, in other words, do you have what you need to give you what you want? So that's where we start. Now, once we know what we need to give us what we want, then you have to amass and build a retirement plan designed for 30 years. And throughout those 30 years, we are going to experience drawdowns, big drawdowns, greater than 25% drawdowns three to seven times. This is going to happen along with losing our spouse, having health issues, cognitive decline. All of these things are going to happen. So if we know things are going to happen, for sure, we know this is going to happen. We can plan to be able to adjust and pivot during those times of these events. And those adjustments, Paul, are not. They are not changing our lifestyle or reducing our spending during these times of major market events and life events. It's making sure we know in in having something in place up front right now that I can pivot where I draw my income from during these times of market volatility. That's where it gets a lot more complicated and difficult for people. Well said. I mean, I think, I think, it, it, you know, it's, it's, you know, it, having a plan thought through before it happens, right? Not doing it in the middle of the fear and panic, not trying to sort this out in the middle of a drawdown, but anticipate that when you retire, you're going to have three to seven of these events. And before you get there, make sure that you have opportunities, you have, you have accounts that you can pivot to so that you're not selling when the market's down 35%, right? And if you have that, psychologically, it's a huge advantage over people who don't, right? If you know that you have accounts that you can pivot to so that you're not selling when, when the market's down 35%, you're going to continue spending and have that freedom that you t- just talked about that everybody wants when they retire. Because, Paul, it all comes down to eliminating or at least minimizing that sequence of returns risk. And if you don't know what that is, just continue listening to our show every weekend because we talk about it constantly. It is the number one risk to your retirement plan. You can also go to the website, retirementplanningedu.org, and there's white papers and interactive calculators so you can begin to understand sequence of return risk. I, you cannot pull money. You cannot pull your income out of accounts when we're having significant market events. When the markets are going down and you're pulling money out, you are just compounding that negative impact that it will become unsustainable. That will cause you to outlive your money. So that's why you have to have accounts you can pivot to. We know the events are going to happen. We don't know when. So that's why I have to have some accounts. We And we teach this in the class, Paul. It's, it's, it's buckets. They're, they're, they're buckets, but they're really buckets within buckets, right? So <laughs> I'm speaking code, I feel like, but it, there's a reason it's an eight-hour class, and there's a reason why we can't teach it in an eight-minute segment. You have to have different accounts, and I know some of you more advanced investors think you have it. You thought it was bonds, and you clearly, those aren't working, and they're not going to work for a little while now. That blew up on you, and we've been telling you for five years that would blow There are different strategies to utilize that will give you accounts that have little or no volatility, sometimes insured. Today, it's a whole different story. Anyone new coming to us, we are using individual bonds. We can use treasuries. We can ladder muni bonds again. We couldn't for years, but during different economic conditions requires different strategies to be put in place in your plan to be able to pivot to in the future when we have a market event. You're buying something today for something you might not need for another 10, 15, 7, 5, 12 years, whenever that market event occurs or those life events occur. It's complicated. It's why it takes us 60 hours in our private practice to build an individualized plan for each client we take care of. It takes us 60 hours to do that. That is what we're going to teach you in the class is how to build that plan and all the levers that are involved in that plan. It's eight hours. We're teaching them at all the major universities. We're even streaming the classes so you can stay home while we're in the universities. To register, all you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. 
go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. And we'll be back. There's more straight ahead with Kirk and Paul. Always a pleasure to be alongside financial instructors Kurt Cassidy and Dr. Paul Mettler, both with the Retirement Education Foundation. Hi, everyone. We're glad you're with us for the Retirement Education Hour. I'm Megan Mozak. We've been telling you how to get registered for the foundation's courses on retirement planning. And these are held at major Michigan universities, including the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, both the Novi and the Troy campus, or Oakland University. And here's how to register. Go to the website. It's retirementplanningedu.org. Again, retirementplanningedu.org. You can also call. That phone number is 800-240-8981. Again, it's 800-240-8981. And get registered before spots fill up. We want you to attend. And, you know, Kirk and Paul, it's so important to attend these courses especially right now when we've been talking about market drawdowns, has a lot of people concerned, rightly so. What is the answer, though, to managing the volatility that we're seeing, especially if you're in or nearing retirement? Well, I can tell you what the, I'm going to give you the answer in a minute, but what isn't the answer is go out, run out and buy something. Don't buy a product. A product isn't your solution. The other answer is don't panic and sell. Don't do that. The other thing you shouldn't do is freeze and do nothing right? You have to, the answer is you have to plan. And I know it's so generic when I say plan because you Google planning and you're going to get a million hits of advisors who are going to say they're doing planning. No, 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 no. Plan is not a probability of success report with a dial on it. A plan is not a spreadsheet having you take out 4% a year for the rest of your life with 50 pages of graphs and charts that are meaningless. That is not a plan. A plan is going to be it's going to be about five pages and it's going to be specifically telling you account by account when you should be taking money from which account at what age to minimize sequence of return risk, to reduce taxes significantly. If you do it right, if you plan right and take income at the right times from the right places, you can minimize taxes by hundreds of thousands of dollars if you're someone with a million or more dollars to in going into retirement. It is a major piece of this is managing taxes. But most importantly, you have all these different accounts that need to be set up for to be able to draw from depending on what the market environment is at any given time. We call them pivots. We teach in the class them as pivots. If the market is doing well, we're taking income from these accounts. When the market is down, we're taking income from these accounts. It's really difficult to do. I'm not going to lie to you. It takes professionals. We have CPAs, attorneys, CFAs, CFPs that construct these plans in our private practices. And when we do it for a client, when we take on a client, it takes us 60 hours to build their plan. These are not an intern took your information, threw it into eMoney or Money Guide Pro, and it took them 30 minutes and it spits out a report for a plan with a dial on it. That is not a retirement plan. It's not telling you where to pivot during times of market volatility. Paul, I know I get really excited. I get really passionate. I just want to shake people. I'm telling you, we know more than you. You need to spend eight hours. That's all I can tell you is you got to spend eight hours. And after you spend eight hours in a class, then the dots will connect and you'll be able to be informed about all the different levers to go find the right team to help you. Because right now you likely don't have them. Kirk, you know, if I can just add one component of this you know we we talk a lot about fear and anxiety and you know psychology emotions all related to this and 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 one of the things that always concerns me especially when we have shows in the middle of drawdowns is that is that the natural reaction is to is to become immobilized right fear and anxiety the natural reaction is, is you, you're sort of to do nothing because you're afraid if you do something you're going to make a mistake here's the reality everything you just said the importance of building a plan so you can pivot. That's not something you can do in a day, right? That's not something you can do in the middle of a hurricane, right? You can't just say, okay, I'm going to retire next week. I'm going to retire next year. So I'll wait and then I'll create a plan so that I could pivot, right? The things that we teach in the class, the things that you have to set up 
takes sometimes some and the more the more the, the more years you have, the better you're going to be able to pivot. Do not wait until you're in the middle of a storm to try to do this. Don't get immobilized. Don't you know? Don't freeze because we're in the middle of a market correction. It is important to do it now. It's important to think about this now. It's never too early to plan. You plan now, anticipating in the future market correction. So when you get there, you'll have the right approach so that you don't react poorly, you don't make mistakes, and you can live the life you want to live. Because really, Kirk, right, in the end of the day, that's what this is all about, right? This is about people having the freedom to do what they want to do when they want to do it in retirement and not be dictated by external events, right? That's what this is really about. That's what the class really is about, right? Right. We can't let short-term market events drive our spending decisions, our retirement decisions, our vacation decisions. That's exactly. That's not freedom. That's not freedom. That's not what you worked 30, 40 years of your life. That's crazy. You don't have to live like that. So if you are immobilized during times of storms, this is a, Paul makes a, a really great point. We see it all the time. The one thing you should do for sure is at least educate yourself. Sincerely, this is a master's level retirement planning course taught at all the major university, almost every major university in Michigan, University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan, Michigan State University, Oakland University. We have a learning center in Livonia that we teach out. We stream the classes while we're teaching live from the universities where you can interact and ask questions with everyone else in the, at, the, at the university too. And you, and you get the textbook at your home too. It's a $29 donation to charity, folks. The overconfidence of having so much success over the last 10 years is going to land people in really bad positions if they don't change their strategies. What you did to have the wealth is going to be very different to distribute the wealth. So all you have to do to register costs $29 goes to charity go to retirementplanningedu.org that's retirementplanningedu.org or call 800-240-8981 investment advisory services are offered by strategic investment advisors inc an sec registered investment advisory firm investing involves risk including the potential loss of principal any insurance discussed in this show is backed by the financial strength and claims paying abilities of the issuing carrier This show is intended for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as the sole basis for financial decisions, nor should it be construed as advice designed to meet the particular needs of an individual situation. Retirement Education Foundation is not permitted to offer, and no statement made during this show shall constitute tax or legal advice. Our firm is not affiliated with or endorsed by the U.S. government or any governmental agency. The information and opinions contained herein provided by third parties have been obtained from sources believed to be reliable, but accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed by Retirement Education Foundation. This radio show is a paid placement.